Hi guys, welcome to Sins and Things, and today we're going to talk about the Hydra Editor. The Hydra Editor is a JavaScript-based video synthesizer coded and designed by Olivia Jack. It's actually a really cool way to experiment with visual synthesizers this way. And it's rather easy as well, even though you have no experience in code. It would be great if you already have a certain knowledge of modular synthesis, as it really has the same kind of approach to it. But you can also just force your way through it and learn it the hard way hardcore. Whatever floats your boat, of course. All right, so let's just jump right in. Go to hydra-editor.glitch.me and you'll be welcomed by this webpage, which immediately brings you to the video synthesizer. You get welcomed by this window about how the video synthesizer works and the features of it. As you can see, you can go to the documentation on GitHub and find all the specifics of features and such. And also a special thanks to the community and all the contributors. But let's not focus on that for now. As you can see, to get started, close the window, chase some numbers and type control shift plus enter. So let's do that right away. Close the window. And here is a bit of code, which is written by Olivia Jack, actually. A rather minimal bit of code for very expressive bit of visuals. All right, so let's just change some numbers and see what happens. So there you go. Got rid of a zero and uh, the visuals changed quite a bit. Well, obviously it stops at the point where you can't really add numbers anymore or the certain numbers you add or delete don't have any effect or you really want to make the visuals more different than you actually can do. And that way you need to add code instead of editing the bit of code that's already here. And that's what I want to explain a bit more about. I want to emphasize I am not a coder, but I did got quite the hang of it quite easily by uh, reading the documentation. The only downside of the documentation is it's rather minimal. I thought it could use a little bit of extra context so you really understand of what you're doing and manipulating. When you've done fooling around with the code of somebody else and ready to write your own stuff, just press the waste bin icon and bam, a clean Hydra editor. Well, not completely clean, as it shows you how to write a bit of code to create an oscillator. So we'll just write out the code and press Control Shift Enter. And there it is, you've created your first oscillator. Now, the oscillator has a couple of variables. Actually, it has three parameters which you can change to change the oscillator itself. The three parameters or variables you can change are actually frequency, syncing, and offset. So basically, our bit of code looked like this. If there's no value in between the brackets, it will use its default values. And the default values are actually 60 hertz for the frequency, 0 0.1 for syncing, and 0, 0.0 for the offset. Let's put a dash in there just for clarity. All right, so basically with this explanation, you can already adjust the oscillator quite a bit. So let's say instead of the default settings, we want to change the frequency to, let's say, 30. Now we press Control shift enter and there you go. By adjusting the value within the brackets, the Hydro Editor will know you will try to adjust the frequency. The difference between the parameters will the Hydro Editor know due to the commas. Let's say we want to change the sync to a 0 0.5 and there you go the sinking goes up now let's say we want to change the offset as well we use comma and put in a new value there you go all right so let's make that a little bit more extreme 
And this way you can keep on changing these three parameters to generate different visuals. I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you at the next one where I explain a little bit more about other sources you can use and adjust. All right, see you later.